Welcome to All About Teardrops. So uh, this is the first video I'm going to post and basically I'm just going to talk quickly um, about what, um, what the site's going to be about and where we're going with this. So, and what we want to do. Uh, Trace and I have been talking a lot over our 20 years of marriage or so, almost 20 years, and what we want to do in the future. Because you only live once, so we have things we want to do. And one of those is to travel the country. And when we started thinking about that, um, more recently, of course, we want to really put a thought into what we want to do as far as uh, campers, because our goal, we, like, we love going camping. We've rented an RV several times. My dad has an RV we've used uh, several times with the kids. Uh, but this will be something that we, were, we would be in for extended length of times, um, you know, months, several months on end. Uh, basically downsizing, you know, our, the house and whatever. We have plans for that. That's another little story. Um, so when we started thinking about it, what uh, did we want in, in a camper? So that's kind of what this site's become. We, we, you know, we narrowed it down. We know we want a very small, easy to transport uh, travel trailer with a tow vehicle, which would give us the ability to set up somewhere if we wanted to be somewhere for any length of time and still be able to move around. But we love the RV. There's features about that we like, but that again is for another whole story, another whole conversation. We have settled on a teardrop style campers, and uh, I'll actually put a picture up here of, about the, actually probably up here anyways, about the um, the R part. I just happened to have a picture of the R part. We did go out looking around, and we got some video and some pictures of that, but I'm gonna just put a picture up here so you can see. There are several models, uh, and there's several different brands. We're considering right now, and there's still more to, more to consider, but the R part, which is by Forrest, River, the Hummingbird, which is by Jayco, and the Mini Drop, uh, which is by Winnebago, and then there's the Tag uh, trailers, uh, which those are those real uh, small, kind of like the original teardrop size, and I think uh, I got a picture of that, I'll throw that up here right now, I'll, a picture of one similar to that, but they make a bigger model of that, so that there's a kitchen inside, a bathroom, and stuff like that. So. Uh, Right now, those are some of the ones we're looking at, but we have all kinds of time. This is a, going to be a, a several year event before we were to take off. We have kids we obviously are still raising. They're in their late teens, so. But um, we want to take time to really do our research, you know, about all the different things uh, of these particular type of campers. So we pick, you know, what's going to work for us. And that will include, you know, warranties, the structure of the camper, the layouts, which is very important. Um, you know, what it's made of, capacity, towing, what you need for a tow vehicle, all of these things are going to come into play, the size of it, um, you know, uh, tanks, you know, what, you know, how much propane, is it solar ready, there's, there's so many things that um, we're looking at, um, slides, there's different size slide outs, uh, the bathroom, is it going to be in the rear? Um, which would give you um, a smaller footprint, but a much larger bathroom. Then there's the kitchen model, model that has a kitchen in the rear. And again, these um, models I'm talking about are available in several different brands. So I do have pictures of the R-Pod one right now, so I'm going to show that. But it's not necessarily, the R-Pod is not necessarily what we're going to buy. We still have no idea what brand or what model we're going to buy. I just happen to have some of those pictures we were out about. I th think I had a couple of pictures of a Hummingbird, the ones as well. They're essentially the same thing, it's just, you know, different construction, different brand, different company, and, you know, they all have their own selling features. So, um, all that's coming into consideration. So, I'll throw a picture up. There's a couple of key things I want to point out uh, that we've, you know, we've discovered right off the bat. With the uh, uh, rear kitchen, which I'll pop that up here right now, you'll see that. Um, when that is slide out, this the, the rear kitchen one in particular has a very large slide out. The ki the refrigerator is included in the slide, as well as the dinette, and that um, um, all slides out. So it's a huge portion of that side of the camper that slides out. So it gives you a big footprint. So I really like that as far as open space. The downside to that one is um, the bathroom is a wet bath. And that means that the shower, when you're, stand, when you're using the, the toilet, your feet are actually in the shower. And when you use the shower, the toilet and the sink, all that gets wet. It's designed that way. It, it's made to save space in your camper so you have more of a footprint of your living space, which is 
the most important thing to us. Um, the bathroom is very small. I'll put a picture up right now of Tracy standing into in it in the bathroom on this particular model. And you know, I, it's not a very good picture. It's actually a clip out of a video. But when you're standing there, I was standing in that bathroom, and your your your, your legs, your calves, or your front of your legs are right up against the the toilet, and then your backside is bumping the sink in the corner. So, and you know, I weigh about 145 pounds, and she's a little lighter than me. So keep uh, that in mind. You know, it's not going to be for everybody. Where the rear bathroom is a much larger bathroom. You know, plenty of room to move around. You get a, a separate shower. It's not a wet bath. Um, so, you know, there's pros and cons to all of them. And one of the cons to the rear kitchen, which is so far my favorite, which is the um, for the R pod, it's the model 179 RK with the with the slide out on the road side of the camper, the driver's side, you um, that's where your window is. So if you're sitting at your dinette and all that, you're on that side. The wet bath is on the curb side. The problem I have with that is the curb side is where you would put your awning out or your add a room or whatever. It's where your picnic table would be, your fireplace at the campgrounds and all that. That's the side that would be on. So with the bathroom being on that side of the camper, and here's a picture looking up the 179 um, from the kitchen, looking towards the bedroom, you can see that there is no windows on that side. The only window is way up in the bedroom, so you'd have to be in the bed to look out the window, or there is one in the door uh, to exit the camper. That's the only window. So that's an issue for me. And um, with the 180 model, uh, which I'll, I'll pop that up here, it has the rear bathroom, so you have a nice big bathroom, and so there's that. And then if you're looking up the camper towards the bedroom, you can see it's a two-seat dinette on the uh, curb side of the camper. So when you're sitting at the dinette, you have a nice window there, and you can look right out into your outer room, into your, you know, where your canopy is, to fireplace, whatever, things like that. So these are the two layouts that I like, uh, but those are the pros and cons. The con to that one, this one here, is your footprint, your living space is much smaller uh, because your bathroom is much larger. So um, anyways, so over the course of this searching, we will be talking about all the different features of the R-Pod, the Mini Drop, the Hummingbird, and I will include as much as I can in, in type as well. I'm not a big typer, I'd much rather do it on video. So um, that's kind of what we're doing. But this kind of gives you an idea of what we're looking at. So uh, hopefully um, this over time will help other people. I will include links to the websites of um, the different campers that we're showing. And uh, also as we add to the site, we will continue to add more links and also uh, specs to the campers, you know, the weight, the size, the capacity, all of that stuff as well. So all that stuff will slowly include over time and hopefully we'll compile a nice place that somebody can come to this one site that's interested in a teardrop style camper. Then uh, they would have tons of information in video form, some text form, as well as links to um, different sites to get more detailed information. So anyways, that's kind of where we're at right now. I'm just gonna throw this uh, video up here quick to kind of just kind of get a start to it. There, you did see my um, uh, welcoming statement to the channel and I'll probably do a welcoming uh, video too a little bit more of uh, what we're thinking but uh, I just want to talk quickly about the campus here and kind of uh, get that information out there a little bit so thanks for uh, stopping into all about teardrops please come back uh, often I'll be posting more uh, videos about these as we go and if you have any questions please uh, comment you know ask a question it might be something I already know the answer to, maybe not, but it might also generate a question for me that I might want to know uh, that we can find out and include it in here. Anyway, uh, thanks for swinging by, and uh, make sure you swing back again.